Okay, we're doing this. So, as most of you know by now, the Urns have announced that Alibaba Pictures have acquired the rights to finally make the Warriors movie that we've all been asking for. No, shush, shush, go away. We're not talking about you yet. <sighs> so, the Urns announced a Warriors movie, and the internet blew up. Well, at least the Warriors community blew up. And since the announcement, I've been getting messages after messages asking me about my opinion on this. I also noticed that a lot of you guys even shared my old video around and told me what you thought about when the announcement first dropped. That's... that's really touching, guys. Wow. It really makes my day that you guys shared it so much and brought back up my discussion points. Thank you. Let's dive right into this monster of a topic, though. There's a lot of feelings out there about this movie, and I felt obligated to follow up on this announcement considering how much you guys have posted about it to me and just everything. So, without further ado, let's really talk about this. First things first, this movie is still not guaranteed to be made. From what we can tell about the tweet and other evidence, like Alibaba directly contacting some fellow YouTubers for advice about the movie, which is great, by the way, it's safe to assume that this Warriors movie project is still in pre-production. This means that the company only recently bought the rights to make the movie, and they're still writing and developing the script. There's not really any individuals tied to the project just yet either, probably. Uh, that means that the film likely doesn't even have a director or producer at this point. Many, many, many films get to this stage and never make it much further. Think of all the times you've heard about a video game movie being made and it just never happens. This is because movies are expensive and difficult to make, and no one just snaps their fingers and makes a movie happen. We may even see the concept art for this film, estimated release date, and other news about cast lists, and the movie could still never happen. Pre-production is a cruel mistress who knocks the knees off many, many projects. So until we actually see a trailer, don't get too excited or too upset about this movie. We could very well never hear about any of this ever again. And even if it is made, it's still going to be another three to five years before it's done, probably. If this studio doesn't just churn out some rushed production cycle that becomes a direct-to-DVD release, which, keep in mind, could happen. We literally don't have any other information about this movie or really know anything about this company making it, so keep an open mind. With all that out of the way, I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how many people are reacting to this news. Most of what I've seen seems to be people admitting that this movie is never going to live up to our expectations, but excited about it nonetheless. This is probably the best attitude to have about this movie, and I'm right on board that train with you guys. We've all wanted this movie for years, even if we know we shouldn't. And yes, now let's talk about my video. I still believe everything I said four months ago about the problems a movie will face, and I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it for you guys. I don't see a situation where we get the kind of movie we want. It's just not going to happen. Characters are going to get cut, the plot will be meddled with, and it wouldn't surprise me if we see other big changes to how the world building or how the Warriors universe works. This is fine. It's not ideal, but when making movies, you have to be considerate about making a film first, then adapting a book. This is something that needs to happen if we want this movie to be good at all. I had a discussion with Hats and Cola Cats about this. Okay, but I'm going to put this out here. A good book-to-screen adaptation is not dependent on how faithful it is. Totally. And they're going to have to make changes. Hopefully they're thoughtful changes. Please, let's be real. The first book hadn't found its flow yet. We don't need Shadow Clan to be angry six times. Streamline it a little. Yes, maybe we don't need to know about Brindleface's new litter. I'm looking at you, Snow Kit. You may have sad animations about you, but you're not all that's vital to this narrative. Please focus on keeping what is good and unique about warriors, and not jamming as much of the book as you can in for children. So long as it carries the essence and heart of warrior cats, I don't think we have to worry. We've settled for a lot of changes in main characters to locations, and I think it's very important that we keep an open mind. Plus, a film could add a new audience and chance to broaden the community. Yeah, in order to make it work for a movie, they'll need to cut a lot of characters. 
I know I said that was a bad thing in my analysis, but that was when I was talking about why we shouldn't want a movie. It is never going to be the adaptations the fans are looking for. Now that they're actually making a movie, though, they have to cut things in order for the movie to work. And that's a good thing. Now, like I said, these changes are necessary to fit into a movie time. We still don't know what books they're adapting yet, but it's likely that they'll either adapt the first series, the first book, or only loosely base their story on the Warriors Cats universe and not base the movie off one book in particular. Either way, since we know so little, it's hard to say. There's a lot more I could say about what I hope this movie will be and what I hope they don't do and how I wish this was in the hands of a more experienced studio, but I think I've said enough considering how little information we actually have. I look forward to seeing how this movie progresses, and I'm hopeful that it surprises us along the way, but I'm not holding my breath for anything amazing, and movie or no movie, I'm happy to be a part of this community, and I'm looking forward more to the future of this series in the hands of fans rather than whatever outcome we get from this studio. If and when we hear more information, I'll gladly talk about it. Stick around and let's prepare ourselves for this wild ride.